What up, what up, my people? This is Rob Lightborn coming at you. This is Accountability Day number 58. And uh, today I actually took a rest. I took the day off from any physical activities. Hand was still a little tight. Just want to make sure it was loose. I got to play this weekend. In fact, I actually did a lot of like rehearsing today. I also gave a lesson today. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, so my hands are uh, definitely good. Feeling a lot looser, but it was still feeling a little tight when I woke up this morning. So I got to use my hands. So regrettably, I just, I literally, it, it feels bad even saying it. But yeah, I literally did nothing physically today. I did not. Um, actually, I take that back. I take that back. I did run. But um. I don't really count that as a full workout. I mean, the run and everything that, I mean, it is exercise. So I will say that, but as far as like running through my reps and everything, weights, all that stuff, I took off from that today. So um, planning on getting back at it tomorrow. Um, musically, everything was good. Uh, definitely was on that. Um, and so, uh, yeah, yeah. Without that workout, it makes it a pretty easy day. It feels weird too, but again, like, I had to make sure this was all right. It feels a lot better right now. I still feel a little bit of tightness, but it feels a lot better. Um, I want to talk to y'all today about being able to see the things that you want when they're not here. Now this is, I mean, the other day I was speaking to you about visualization and everything, but more so I'm talking about not necessarily just visualization, but it's being able to see in spite of, you know, and being careful who's around you or who's feeding you any type of specific energy, you know, um, remaining positive, and being able to see something before it has happened or see something when it doesn't look likely. You know, you, you got to remember, I mean, don't let probabilities, you know, distract you or dissuade you away from what the possibilities are. And if you're attempting to do something that you haven't done before. It doesn't even have to be something that hasn't been done before, but that you've never done before, or that no one in your immediate camp has ever done before. It's very important to, you know, cause you have to strike a balance. There are some times when you may want to do something and you have people who are warning you against it, so to speak. And they're right because maybe they see some pitfalls you know, they're just looking out for you. It's not that they're trying to dissuade you away from what you want to do, but it's more so, have you considered this or have you thought about this? This right here could, you know, be something that you don't want to go through type stuff. You know, so for the most part, I do think that the advice that you get from your loved ones and everything is them truthfully trying to look out for you. Now, yeah, do you have some, excuse me, do you have some haters? I'm pretty sure you do. Everybody has some. But most of the time when people are trying to dissuade you away from something and they're people who are close to you, it's usually people who have your best interests at heart. This is where you have to be sure of your plan. You have to know that your plan is the best option. You can't guarantee that. You can't guarantee anything. But... This is why you have to be sure of your plan. And if you want to convince people around you, sometimes it's not just about going about it and being headstrong and everything, because you want to accept counsel from people who do care and consider you, you know, and consider what's best for you and things like that. You definitely want to accept counsel. But if you're sure in what it is that you're pursuing, then usually you've done some level of diligent work or diligent research or there, there's something about your plan to where when it faces any form of questioning, then you're able to break down your situation and circumstance 
to, I keep feeling like I'm going to sneeze. You're able to break down your situations and circumstance in a way that not only may anyone else be able to understand, but they've never thought of it before. So with that, I guess the best thing to say is respect whatever it is that you're doing to the utmost, to the point where it can stand up against any type of questioning. Because somebody questioning what you're doing is not a bad thing at all. Because people who don't like you are going to question what you're doing. And you're going to have opposition. What you're doing and the way you're pursuing something has to be able to stand up to opposition. And also get through and get past opposition. So, yo, that's it. This is Rob Lightborn. Um, I hope everybody's good once again. God bless each and every one of you. Always respect time. And I will see you tomorrow, God willing. Peace.